Hello and welcome to the Clever Channel. I am Jason, your host. So, first bit of news for today, let's do this video on the doggy kins, Bertie. Um, the vet has been out today. As I've said before, I have no problem having the vet out. If I have to, I always will. Um, I know a lot about dogs um, and my instincts are usually right in the treatment pla pan, plan for my doggies. So the wound on Bertie's back leg, now that big things come off it, is doing really well. Um, he had a good check of it, checked how I was doing it in that, and he's happy with the way I'm wrapping it and what I'm doing from wound prep and everything, and I'm doing all the right things. He was actually really surprised at how well it was looking and how the actual skin is already starting to, new skin is starting to form around the edges of the wound. It would probably take about two weeks for that to completely close over. May never have fur on that part, of course, but it will actually have skin on and there's a good, so that is wonderful. Um, like I said, got a little supply of antibiotics just in case anything did get into his system from the ball as it died. But we don't think they did because I tied it with cotton straight away. I did. It was the best treatment for Bertie. Um, he needed no steroids. So no risk to his liver and kidneys. He needed no surgery, so no risk of anaesthetic. And, oh, just a week of discomfort as we slowly removed and tied off this wound, this um, cyst type thing. And now his treatment plan <laughs> they use the same kind of manuka honey when in the vets because it, it promotes healing it draws out moist the it draws out excess moisture and it promotes um new cells it's it's like it's like it's antibacterial will stop all kind of infections on the surface this stuff's brilliant i mean if i cut myself i use this kind of um medical grade Honey, that man of honey, it's a brilliant. So what you do is you take, what for him, it is simple. Open one of these gauze packs that I got. Once again, Amazon sells a lot of medical supplies these days. The same kind of ones that the, I mean, these are the same kind of ones that the hospital sent me home with for power. And so all you do, take this out. You just put some of this, Manuka honey on here. You don't put it on the wound, you put it on the actual pad. Then you press this onto the iron thingy and you use some of these bandages. This is a green one, but basically these are just semi self adhesive. They don't need to be attached or anything and they don't stick to dog hair. They're brilliant for that. So you just wrap, wrap, wrap it around and that, and then just that's it. Check it again twice a day, just check it at night before bed and See if it needs redressing. And Bertie's happy. And back to his normal self, putting all his weight on his foot, on that foot. And it's gone. And it is like the 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 best outcome. Because if he had had to go I mean, this is why every day while it was while it was coming off him, every day I was spraying him with this, which is a antiseptic. It's just basically water with little bit, distilled water with little bits of um, antiseptic, natural antiseptic in there. It's another one that they do. And basically you just spray it over the wound, a wound that you can't put under bandage. Because we couldn't put it under bandage until we had removed the dead flesh at the end of it. So yeah. I'm very used to this kind of thing. I'm very used to looking after things. It's like, 
when Paula needed me, needed someone to um, cut away dead skin and do all that and learn about all that, I I learned everything I needed to do because it's just that thing in my mind that says there's no one else to do it at this point in time. Um, why he was here, he gave Beryl a look over, make sure she's okay. Yep, the, the cancer will not go away, of course, but she's still happy. She's still got strength, uh, strength in her legs. She's still, her eyes are still, eye is still bright and she's still eating, got an appetite and all these things show that she, she's got a quality of life. We talked about that if he, when Beryl needs to pass on, that I will do what I always do, and that is get the vet to come out. The reason I do that is this. If at all possible, I always want it to be that my dogs um, pass away in, and go to sleep in a comfortable place in a place they know not in a sterile vet's office somewhere with strangers and yeah it wrecks me it absolutely wrecks me it wrecks me to hold on to my dog in my arms while they're giving that injection to him i i am i i i completely lose it i will be completely out of it but can I do any less? My doggies have been there for me and were there for my mum and there for Paola. How could I not do anything else? But look after them in the same way. They matter. So, yeah, that's what they're in. Got about eight of these and these are different colours with paw prints on and that. But they're, they're very good ones because they just, they don't grip hard enough to actually pull on the hair and they were very good one to think so he's just having different coloured socks on their foot for the next week or so until it seals up completely because his natural thingy will be to lick the wound now him licking the licking it why he had that thing on top wasn't a bad thing because he was helping actually remove it it was it was he was slowly pushing it off the skin and that um but dogs licking a wound won't allow it it won't heal so it's got to be kept under cover that's why you ha you usually have the the cone of shame and things like that but yeah he's he's happy he's a he got a big love off the vet when it comes to it i've always prioritized my dogs they are part of my support network Um, the AI and all that can only do so much. Yes, they steal my bed covers. Yes, they steal. The, the, I mean, often I find Bertie on my bed right where I want to sleep. And I, I don't know if you've noticed this with dogs. When dogs lie down on the bed, it's like they create their own gravity. It's almost impossible to move them once they've laid down. It's like they bond with the freaking bed. <laughs> but I love them so yeah I hope you're all having a wonderful day